Today, we're going to create custom code nodes that have external libraries imported into our local NA10 workflow. And instead of using Appify or another YouTube client ID secret key that you have to get from Google, we're going to be using a very popular YouTube library called YouTube Download Player. And how this is work is I can, for instance, say, can you retrieve the last 10 videos from my channel? So it's then going to use the code node, get channel videos. These are, this is all Python custom code, which again, you can use ChatGPT or Anth or Cloud Code or something to get this. So now what I've done is it's given me the actual last 10 videos that I have published. And we can get comments, get video info, and actually just search YouTube based on something that you put in the search bar like you normally would on YouTube. And by the way, all this will be available in my free community that you can get down below and you'll be with other people that also wanna learn these things as well so we can all collaborate. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is the well, there was a big update with N810 2.0 and this had to deal with task runners. Now I have a video right here where I kind of went a little bit more in depth with it that I just created the other day. But basically with task runners, we can now import external libraries into JavaScript or Python uh, images that can be used to actually execute the code separately from your N8N container. And if you were to follow this exactly the way they have it in their documents, it will not work. I've had, I spent quite a bit of time figuring this out. So I'm going to give all this to you for free so that you don't have to go through all the same issues that I did and what I saw in N8N's discord and online people have kind of had some issues with this. So I'm going to show you everything that you need so you can get started with this as well. So the first thing is you need to download Docker. This is where you host your N8N workflows locally. So just download, so you just come here, download des Docker desktop for whatever, whatever machine that you have running. And now whenever you go to import what I have from GitHub, where you just download these, or you just download these files, there's a few things here. So Docker file, okay, this is what we're going to be using to import other libraries. So we're going to use N810 IO runners, and we're using version 2.0.0 for N810. This is, we're basically extending this image to be able to import these other images. So we have YouTube Download Player, Num Numpy, and NumPy, and Pandas, okay? So let's see what YouTube Download Player is. So when I say popular, I say this is 138,000 stars on our GitHub popular, right? This is, and this is just a library, but you can scroll down here and it does so much. It, it can do so many things. We're obviously not gonna get into all of this. So I just want you to know that this is very popular and if you are, curious about using this for YouTube, which I'm going to show you some things to do with it, then, you know, just come in here and read this a little bit, but I'm going to make this easier for you. And so this is exactly what we're doing. We're going to be installing these libraries using Python, using virtual environment with Python. So we're going to be installing these right here and we're going to be copying this task runners JSON file into our container. So uh, this any then task runners JSON. Basically what this is doing is we have one each, right? We have a task runner for JavaScript and we have a task runner for Python. So we're just gonna focus on the Python one right now. So you have to have these working. So you have to have a working directory. Uh, this is the command we're gonna use to install them. You have to have a health server, health check server port for each of them. And then we also have to allow to uh, external libraries to be able to be installed with our any with any den. Okay, and that's what we have. These are the libraries that we have right here. And then we have our Docker compose file. This is what we're gonna be using to build uh, build everything together. And so we have our any den 2.0 image. So the, using the brand new version, there's something that you have to have most of these. So the auth token, this is what allows us to connect to the runner. So we're gonna have a runner when it gets built, it's only built to actually execute code outside of what you uh, outside of the N10 container, which is how you should always do it. Okay, so but basically we're going to be um, having image for runner and image for N8 then. And so whenever you go to run this, this will first off, let's go ahead and run this. So I'm gonna say Docker compose up build and dash D is for detached. So we'll we will, like you can still use your terminal. So whenever we run this, then it's going to build everything for us. You can see we have the custom N8 10 runner, and then we actually have our N8 10 instance. So whenever I open up the dashboard in Docker, okay, we're gonna come, I'm gonna come to our containers. Now we have this one called runner, all right? So in runner, if I open this up, I have a runner in my N8 10 instance. So if I click on the N8 10 instance, you should see that it says you can now access it at localhost 5678. Okay, so now I just opened up my localhost 5678, 
and then here I am with uh, here I am with everything that we need to create this workflow. So I'm just gonna actually go over. I'm gonna create a new workflow. I'm just gonna import the JSON file that you're gonna have, right? So I'm going to import from file, and this is gonna be the same way that you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna import the YouTube local agent JSON. Okay. Now the first thing you need to do is you do need to create make create an OpenAI account. You know you can obviously. I'm just doing this so that I can record without having to have a llama because my machine can't handle using uh, local AI models while I'm recording. So you would, you could definitely use a local AI model. I have a video that I just did on that as well. But basically what this is, is we just have an AI agent, right? This is simple AI agent. I've done nothing else to this, as you can see, except that we've added tools. Okay, so let's first off do this get video info tool. So as you can see here is I actually imported the YouTube download player. Okay, and then this is all the code to basically take in a URL and then it grabs the title, video, uh, like count, view count, comment count, etc. So this takes in all this information or it'll extract all the information from the actual YouTube video and send it back to us. So now all I have to do is I just grabbed a YouTube video and we're gonna see which one it was, is can you get the information for this YouTube video? I'm just going to paste in the URL. And so what it's going to do here, the AI agent is going to start working. It's going to then choose the get video info tool, which is just the code that I'd explained it. And I need to explain something else in there, um, but it's going to get the information and then send it back to you. And this is Rick Astley's never going to give you up with over 1.7 billion views and approximately 2.4 million comments. I mean, here's the URL. So this is retrieving everything about this video and I had not used Appify and I have not used, um, like I haven't gotten any keys from YouTube. This is strictly this library. Okay. And I think this is why Python, this, these Python code nodes and JavaScript code nodes are going to be very powerful from here on forward. Okay. There's a difference with this. than if I were to, if I were to pass in this YouTube URL, so the agent is taking that URL, right? Taking the URL right here. And it's passing that in to the tool, but how is it passing it into the tool? This is something that we, this is something that we need to, uh, like talk about now. Okay. So I had this URL. You may be thinking you're probably used to doing something to a tool where you had like this and you say from AI, and then maybe I could call it the key would be like URL. So you normally pass this in, let AI decide it from the agent take it into the tool, right? But you can't do that with code nodes. That is not, it does not work the same way. Instead, we have this underscore query. Okay. So how this works is in this tool, we have to specify the input schema. So in the JSON example, I say the URL, the property name, and then I, this is just supposed to be the YouTube URL. So then to get it, I say underscore query, and then I pass in that property name. And now this is going to be the URL that I pass in to the rest of the code here. Okay. That is how you pass in from an AI agent, the, let it decide which parameter to set it. Okay. You don't have to do anything else, but you have to do that. That's very important. Okay. So then this is the same thing. Uh, I can say, can you get the top, uh, 20 comments from this video? And we'll just do the same one, right? This is the same, uh, Rick Ashley video. And so now it's going to use the comments tool and the comments tool has a couple of things. We, it has, you know, gets the URL, sorry, it gets the URL and then it gets the max number of content uh, comments. So if you don't pass anything, it'll automatically get 20, but it's the same thing query dot. And then you can, you can do some things like dot get, but, uh, this is going to get, this is just going to get the information from the AI agent. It's going to pass it into here. Right? So then here, are the top 20 comments, um, this one is like 536,000 likes just from, uh, just from you know, this is crazy, right? This is crazy. And then here, YouTube even commented, uh, that's how amazing it is. Okay. So this is really cool. And this is how we code any code, anything. So here we're going to actually create another code node and test this ourselves. Okay. So what we're going to do now is actually we're going to create a brand new code node tool. I'm just gonna be asking AI to help me create it. So go ahead and go to the tool. We're going to search for code and then we want, whoops. Sorry, going to select code tool again, search for code tool. Now what we want to do is we actually need to figure out what we're creating. So I'm going to go back to cursor, right? This is where I ask, ask it, basically have it create things for me. So I said, can you create a tool to get the audio from the video? Okay. So it created all the code for me using the same library, YouTube download player. So let's just copy this. I'm going to, we're going to go in blindly together. 
I'm going to choose Python. And this is, uh, this is a tool to extract the audio from a YouTube video. So then we're going to come in here, just paste this. It already knows from what I've done before to use the underscore, underscore query to get the URL from, uh, to get the, to get the URL from the AI agent. So we basically have that. Well, let me rename this to uh, YouTube audio tool. Okay. So we're going to save this. We didn't publish it yet. So I'm going to open the chat. I am going to use, uh, I'm going to use Rick Astley's video again. Can you extract the audio from this video? Okay. So it should come in here, talk to the agent. The agent should go to the YouTube audio tool. That was pretty quick. Uh, let's see what was going on here. Okay. So that didn't work initially. I came back and this is what uh, YouTube or this is what cursor came back with. So I basically copy paid this, pasted this in, into right here. So it has now whatever checks it's doing, I think it's just doing checks for the string or empty strings. So if I come back here, say reuse this message, let's paste this in. So now it's going to use the YouTube audio tool again. If this takes a little bit longer than I know that it's good. Okay. So it got, we got success and it got, an, it got, it looks like it gave an audio URL. It gave us the duration string. Let's see how long is it? Three minutes and 33 seconds. Good. So that worked. And it basically came back out with this output. Okay. So JSON dot output. If we come back here is what, what this did is it gave me an audio URL to download. So what if, okay, well, let's just test this out first, right? I think I already kind of tested it, but you can't hear, but this is, this is the song, right? This is, the, this is it. That's great. So now what we could do is we could actually, uh, we actually take the audio, actually download it and then, uh, have like the AI agent give us some output, actually download it. And then, uh, we could do anything with it now that we actually have the audio. Now there's a lot going on right here. So basically what's happening is we're this, the Python launcher the task broker is ready. It's waiting to receive a message. Okay. So now what happened is it received one, it started the runner, it connected to the broker registered it. There was a, we gave it a task, the completed task in four seconds for node YouTube audio tool, which is the exact one in our workflow, local YouTube, local agent. And then whenever it was done, the runner stopped. So I mean, it executed the code inside of a separate image or separate container, and then it sent it back to the local workflow. And this is how it works. This is how it should work. Okay. So this is amazing. It's working just the way it's supposed to. Okay. Look, great job. I uh, hope you were able to follow along. All of this again will be in my school community that so that you can, uh, so that you can join and download this for free and use it and tell me tell me more information about whether you got working, what you're trying to work, etc. Just tell, let me know anything that you're working on. In the meantime, here are more courses and videos for you to watch. I'll see you next video.